no, typically what, what we do is just a renewal case and we're not asking for any changes and, and I look at the location and don't see any particular controversies. Is we reach out to the LEBD, we go through the neighborhood council. At that point, we then go to the council office because they want to know what this board thinks. Um, assuming that's favorable, uh, that's they will check true. their sources out in the community, make sure there's no issues, and then ultimately show up and say that they have no issues. Fair enough. Going once, going twice. I have the motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Yes. Second. With that, I call for the vote, Madam Secretary. Yes, ma'am. And seconded by myself. Our Benjamin. Thank you so much. Okay, Mr. Thomas. Hi. Mr. Benjamin. Yes. Good. Uh, myself I'm on the fence, but it is restricted hours. I like that, so yes. Ms. Raines. No. Mr. Ackerman. Aye. Mr. Anun. Aye. Mr. Kamara. Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta. Yes. Mr. Friedman. Yes. Mr. Hendry? Yes. Mr. Lazarovitz? Yes. Mr. Lynn? Yes. Mr. Martin? Yes. Mr. Moravi? Yes. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Ms. Patton? Yes. Mr. Robbins? Out of the room. Oh, yeah, he's, sorry. He's out. He's, he's at out Palm Springs. He had, to leave he had to leave. Oh, he's gone. Okay. He's driving to Palm Springs. Oh, didn't know that. Oh, okay. And Ms. Skelton? Let's call him. <laughs> I don't want to speak okay. here. Um, okay. I, I would suggest that I would suggest that a, as the, the motion passed, I, I would suggest that the uh, letter of recommendation and the letter of support do, does stipulate uh, the uh, the hours of seven to ten p.m. Seven to ten, seven a.m. to ten p.m. Okay. How fast do you need the letter? Not fast at all. We don't even have a hearing date yet. For okay. There you go. Uh, all right. We can we, we can sit on our hands for months around here. So, <laughs> Thank you very much. Fabulous. All right, we got five minutes, guys. Uh, eight I B and C to address and sorry, sorry. What's that? Are we okay? Eight I. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for running the, the show. Appreciate it. Eight I B and C to address and reappoint the council um, to the Sustainability Alliance. Uh, the VNC to elect Councilman Jason Ackerman and or Councilman Stephen Friedman. Stephen, I'm actually misspelling your name on purpose just to bother you. Um, Co-chairman of the Sustainability Committee, the VNC to request the co-chairs join the Valley Sustainable Alliance. Is this going to be sustainable for you guys? Yeah. Are we good on this? Are we, are we Jason. Are, are we doing the Valley Sustainable Alliance or the Neighborhood Council Sustainable Alliance? We're going to any any alliance we can... Uh, Get you to join. If, if there's a Star Wars alliance, I want in that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. All right. We're willing to participate. Yes. No, Fabulous. Okay. okay, I make a motion. We adopt the language in 8 I as is. Very good. I'll call for the Madam Secretary. All right, it passes unanimously. Very good. Yes, Karina. Oh, my goodness. He's going to be one of the co-chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready to? Are you still co-chairing that? I'm, I'm, I'm chairman of it right now. Okay. Yes. Yes, whatever you guys. <laughs> so I, I serve at the pleasure of the president. All right. How about we have a? Let's have a committee with three co-chairs. That'd be fun. We've never done that before. All right. So everybody has. It's a trifecta. Yes, it is a trifecta. So don't forget to box your trifecta when you're at the races. Okay, no, we need to vote on this. Um, we're going to have Friedman, Ackerman, and Anand co-chair this. I mean, is everybody open for that? Yeah, I, I, I'm i happy with that. Do you want to co-chair it too? Jeffrey Lynn, co-chair. All right, we got four, four co five co-chairs. How about some of them? I know, they're going to be, they're going to speak last. Uh, no, it's going to go them and then Donna. We have to hear from Donna. They're enjoying themselves. Have some pizza. It's from Famous Pizza. It's delicious. Uh, do we have uh, anyone else want to co-chair this? Stacy. All right, we have six co-chairs. No, we'll go back to the three. Are we good? I believe we only have five people on a committee. Anyway. That's correct. All right. Yes. Okay. So uh, with that, I call for the vote. At this point, it's just a committee. I think it should be an ad hoc. 
No. No. No, it's a committee. It's a committee. It's a standing committee. Standing committee? Yep. Okay. I vote yes. Okay. Okay, yes. Um, are we really voting on three chairs? Yeah, we are. We yep. are. We're, we're setting precedent. Three chairs it's never been table. set before. <laughs> Mr. Thomas? Yes. said yes. Mr. Benjamin? Yes. I guess I'm going for yeah. Um, Ms. Raines? Skip you. Okay, come back to you later. Mr. Ackerman? That's a tough vote, Stacey. That's a really hard one for you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Mr. Anon? Yes. You guys Aye, I guess. <laughs> what, if, what if you don't want to do it? So i gotta got to ask. Mr. Kamara? Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta? Yes. Mr. Friedman? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Henry? Yes. Mr. Lazarovitz? Yes. Mr. Lynn? Yes. Mr. Martin? Yes. Mr. Morabi? Yes. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Ms. Patton? Yes. Mr. Robbins? Not here. Gone. I forgot him. He's driving to Palm Springs. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. And Ms. Skelton? Do you want me to call him? Yes. <laughs> 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 Very good. Next. H A the V N N C to vote on and allocate five thousand dollars for welcome to Van Nuys signs. The V N N C to vote on the locations of these signs: Satakoy and Sepulveda, the Amtrak station, and one on the east side of the district. Not to exceed five grand. Do we have discussion and debate on yeah, this? We have yeah. Stacy. Like amend down to like four thousand or thirty-five hundred. Like, because then I would be in favor of it. Any th we can amend to. down. We can't amend up. Not, right. not or how much, it's would it, how not, much does it cost? Us? We don't know. Okay. Uh, I, I've made five inquiries. Uh, I haven't gotten any information back. Uh, Is it going to be they, like the granite they've asked sign me the, the size here? of the sign, what's on the sign, the, the, the material that the sign is made out of. I mean, they've asked a hundred questions that I haven't Stone. been able to ask, answer yet. Um, my, my thoughts are that the signs are... Uh, enamel over steel. Um, they carry the Van Nuys logo. They're probably um, two and a half by two and a half feet. Um, a very large sign. We will have to get permission from the city to put them on city on light posts or DWP or okay. any idea, Guillermo? If we if we uh, we, need them. we don't have any a welcome to Van Nuys sign maybe we should get thank you for leaving Van Nuys we can talk about it that's not from us so we okay want, we want one that has us on it yeah it it'll say something like the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council and stakeholders of of Van Nuys welcome you to the city or something like something that what cars yes yes. Well, this guy right here in the front. What is your name, Mr. sir? President, thank you. First of all, on Van O and uh, Van O and Van Nuys Boulevard, that island there, there is a sign for Van Nuys, but you can't see it. But it is there. So if you improve that one, you'd save money on that one. But there right. is a sign there. I used to say, "Welcome to Van Nuys." That's Van like Nuys. the north so part of the so district. So take a look at it. That would be a minor repair, and it would look beautiful there. Yeah. yeah. Any other discussion and debate on this, yeah. Mr. Uh, Hendry? I want to speak. Okay, there Mr. is Henry's someone recognized. recognized other than you. Okay. Okay. Also, also, there's a sign. Don't get, don't get upset, Howard. I don't want you to get. I want to There's a sign in Chandler and Van Nuys Boulevard that I think they're dropping like flies. Perhaps if we had it the right design, we could put our sign in front of it and use the the masonry as a backing yeah, absolutely. and be fresh. Yeah. Fresh enough to see. Um, the problem with that is, and I mean, there's no problem because that's a great sign. It's a cement. It's a cement monument, literally. The problem is, it is no longer Van Nuys. It is actually Sherman Oaks. Van Nuys starts at Burbank, which is only. It does starts at the Orange Line now. They redistrict Van Nuys to. They have redistricted my seat. That belongs to the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council. No, not the city of Van Nuys. Not the city of Van Nuys. Yeah. Van Nuys is as an area as defined by the city. It has boundaries. And when Lake Balboa and Sherman Oaks and all these other people kind of... So what are we saying? He wrote it. The, 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 the correct boundary for Van Nuys is the, uh, 
the 405 freeway to the west, the Tahunga wash to, I'm sorry, Hazeltine to the east. Is Woodman, no, uh, 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 it goes along Woodman. Um, to the north, it's Raymer, and to the south, it's uh, the Orange Line. That's wrong. Dunn accepted me as resident in, resident in District 3, and I live council. south of the Orange Line. That's the, that's, that's, that's the neighborhood, that's the neighborhood that's council that's boundary. That's we represent, yeah. but not the, not that's the city of Van Nuys. There is no real city of Van Nuys. But well, there is. Well, if the neighborhood council is putting up the sign, we can use the neighborhood council line. We're going to be that's what we're going to do. Which is perfect. Well, if we did, then we could go all the way down to Magnolia. Um, here, here. Hell yeah. Because the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council District, for 500 feet on each side of Van Nuys Boulevard, goes all the way down to Magnolia. Perfect. That makes sense. I love it. Let's go down to Magnolia and piss off Joe Bates for Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sign is there. There's already there's already a sign in say welcome to Van Nuys. It just doesn't say that from the council. Long story short, I will have bids in by next month. Uh, if it's if it's okay with the council that they would be 30 inches by 30 inches, they would probably be reflective signs with reflective paint. They would have the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council logo. They would be made out of steel with uh, enamel over uh, overcoat. Um, and we'll talk to the the councilwoman about uh, what uh, what we can use to post those signs on for the city property. I don't know what they're going to cost. Miriam. Thank you, George. If we're going to have nice looking signs, we also have to have our sidewalks looking good. Across the street, it's like a garbage. I saw a That has nothing to do there. with signs. I want to have our signs looking nice with the streets. When you walk down a sidewalk and you see the sign, this is very nice, I want to have the street looking nice. Let's have the street clean. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Mary. Anybody say, else? I, said, I just want to say one more thing. Oh, good. Uh, it seems to me now I don't seem to care one way whether you that, I'm sorry, but whether you have the signs or not because you don't seem to care whether we're here or not. Okay, thank you. Your shirt's on backwards. I just want to like it that way. It's pretty. <laughs> it is. You're like this. Okay. Donna, that hurt. Uh, that hurt, Donna. Oh, mine is you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other discussion on the signs? Okay. Um, we're saying 30 inches. Do we know, so as far as the design is concerned, are we talking colors? Is it going to look like this? It, or will, we be, it will be two color, two the way colors. all city signs are. Candido. Mr. President, uh, Mr. Benjamin's, uh, Benjamin's idea is okay, but why not involve the community? See if the schools can come up with a sign. Let's have Van Eyes. Let's have some of the uh, L, uh, middle schools design their own and see what they look like. And then the board have like a you know competition, and then you guys vote on it. But this way you include the, the community, and it's just not a 30 by 30 inch sign. Duly noted. Anybody else? Yes. Going once. Yes, John. John Kathleen Cabin. I would like to have somebody bring up the problem of, of tagging, graffiti. But we're on signs now. That's what I was going to tell you because a lot of the neighborhood watch signs are always being tagged and other signs. The point is that if it's an enamel over steel sign, you wipe it clean. That's what we wanted to know. Thank you. Okay, next, next, who second that motion? I saw a sign, er, I saw a sign, I saw a hand up. Howard, who seconded the motion? John Camara. John is being recognized, no one is seconded. Copycat Tarzana, they have a Tarzana, uh, Neighborhood Council welcomes you to Tarzana. I'm at Turo Boulevard between Nestle and Reseda, and everyone is excited to have it. Everyone likes it in Tarzana. If we can copy what they did, carbon copy what they did, let's do it. Okay, but now just one one little uh, point of uh, order. What's that? If if we don't second the motion before we keep discussing, it's
it's going to die. So you need to second that motion. And you can't you second a motion that hasn't been you made. You have to call for the motion first. <laughs> uh, well, okay, then, then, well, that's what I'm saying. You're Do we have a motion, a motion on the floor? Is, is, it, is it with the revised language down to 3,500? Do we want 3,500 as the number? I don't believe we can get four signs for 3,500 bucks. I thought we're only doing three signs and we're leaving the granite one alone. No, we would be putting a sign on the granite sign. Well, are we happy with the number of five grand? I, I, three signs. I would like to state that we actually have the money and if we don't spend it for something that... You're giving it back to the city. Right, and mm. that's one. And two, the fact that this is something that's going to last a long time. It's not just you know going to be spent quickly and gone. And it represents the entire city of Van Nuys, and people will see that when they come. And I have to say, I have to agree with whoever was talking about Tarzana, because it actually, oh, that was John, because it actually, when you see these signs, it, it, it they catch nice. your interest, and you feel good about and that. And we want that feel good feeling positive, about Van Nuys. So I would I say, whatever it costs. We need positivity. People are so negative. Let's smile a little bit. Let's enjoy I make a motion we adopt the language in 8J as is. Seconded. Second. With that, I call for the vote on 8J. Any second? Second. Thank you. Okie dokie. Mr. Thomas. Aye. Mr. Benjamin. Yes. Me. Aye. Uh, Ms. Raines. No. Is Ms. Jackman still here? No. Yes, I'm still yes. here. Yes, okay. I'm asking you. Yes. Thank you. Fine. Sure about that. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nunn. Abstain. Mr. Camara. Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta. Abstain. Mm. Mr. Friedman's gone. No, he's here. Yes, and thank you, Howard, for looking into it and taking the time to price it. To think about the logo and the look of it and all the time you're spending trying to get it right. And he does. He's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Hendry. Yes. Mr. L oh, he's left. Never mind, Mr. Lazarus. Mr. Lynn? Yes. Mr. Martin? Yes. Mr. Moravi's gone. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Ms. Patton? Yes. Mr. Robbins? Gone. 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 He's going to Palm Springs. Yeah, he's going to Palm Springs. Well, I'm consistent at least. Should Adam we call him? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, be nice. It passes. We have to go. <laughs> All right, we're going to hear from the council office, and we're going to hear from uh, Miriam and Donna's office, and then we're going to adjourn the meeting. Guillermo. My God. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. I'll make this quick. Um, last time I was here, the councilwoman announced uh, the beginning of... Trafficking Awareness Month, and we're, we were, well, we're, we still are, we still have two days. So we, we are holding a toiletry drive, we are holding it until Friday, and I have a poster for it here, so we're collecting any donation of toiletry goods, shampoo, soap, toothbrushes, toothpaste, feminine products, deodorant, etc., all in the name of going to help survivors of human trafficking, and we have four drop-off donations, including our city hall office, Journey Out, which is the organization that we're partnering with on this, our Van Nuys City Hall office next door, and our Sun Valley District office at 9300 Laurel Canyon Boulevard. I do have a flyer here that I can pass out. And um, the other thing is, as Hadley was here from Connect the Dots earlier today, presenting um, the event that's going to be taking place February 20th and 21st next week. And uh, yes, you know, it's, it's part of the pro it's part of the Great Streets Initiative to beautify this section of Van Nuys Boulevard. And uh, we have been helping them with permits and other issues that they've needed help with, including uh, helping them with getting the space here and all that. So we've been very happy and fortunate to be able to help them. And we are looking forward to be a wonderful event. Um, if anything, you guys know where to reach us. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Guillermo. Did you have something candy? Uh, yes, just quickly on the 20000 that they're requesting for support. Oh, the block grant money uh, funding that comes in the city of Los Angeles. Correct me if I'm wrong. The council office could apply for that money for that project. Yes or no? I am not familiar with that, but I can check. Okay, good. Thanks, sir. Sahag, Vonces, Inchbeses, Bari Ereko, Bari Gishen. Hi, everybody. John.
Uh, very quickly, uh, I do not want to take more of your precious time. Uh, my name is Sahag. I'm from Councilor Walker Corian's office. I just brought a few things with me. Um, a good neighbor's law little pamphlet I've left over there. Thank you. So you can know who to call, what to call, when to call, for what problem to call for. I also left 311 uh, flyers that we just created in the front so you know how to contact them for graffiti removal, for tree trimming, etc. Um, the Community Emergency Response Team is holding free training classes for people. You could sign up, get involved, get trained. And lastly, uh, the Sanitation uh, Department is giving out free trees. But what I'm also trying to, yes, what I'm also trying to do is plant more trees in Council District 2. So if you have areas that need trees, let me know. If there's an area in front of a business that is just a sidewalk, I have the funds now to cut them open and plant trees. They have to be X feet away from a meter, a gas meter and a pole, but once we could talk and figure that out, we could apply for any type of tree. It kind of helps businesses bring more people in, keeps the area a little bit more green, less concrete. Uh, other than that, thank you for everybody who's already reached out to me. We're, we're in the works of doing a lot of things. We're going to help Stacy out with getting buses for one of the elementary schools in our district. Uh, me and Q are working on cleaning up the streets, one street at a time, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then everybody else, uh, I look forward to working with you. Penny, thank you. Uh, Paul, I will contact you soon. Everybody else, thank you for being so great. If there's any questions, I'm still here for a few more minutes. Please let me know. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, so Angie from Dream Azarian's office. How's the assembly member? He's doing wonderful. So, again, my name is Angie. I'm with Assembly Member Nazarian's office. First of all, I want to thank the neighbor council. Wonderful. For helping us out with the job fair that we had last month. So thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. Also want to thank Anita for donating the sodas as well. And, and the candy, of course. So thank you so much for helping us out with that. The other thing I want to mention is that the Department of Insurance has a new program that's called Affordable Auto Insurance, and these are for low-income people who qualify. So I have this little green flyer right in, over there by the table, and it's pretty simple. Um, you can check if you're eligible by having a California driver's license if your vehicle is valued at $25,000 or less. And of course, you have to meet some certain income el eligibility requirements. So if you know of anyone who could definitely use a lower in um, insurance, so then please go to them for the car insurance. That'd be a great way to reach out to the constituents as well. As always, our office is always willing to work with the neighbor council on various events. So please feel free to talk to me about any ideas you may have. If you want to do anything for the office, I'm always available. I'll also be in the back for a couple more minutes to see if anyone wants to talk to me. Thank you. Uh, just quickly, this young lady was outstanding, always returned calls. You could reach her, there was communication. Your offices enjoyed working. Thank you so much. I'll pass it along to the rest of the staff. All right, is there anyone here from the White House? <laughs> <laughs> Governor Brown's office. Anyone named Glenn Bailey here? <laughs> yeah, there is. Glenn, you have anything for us? I have a couple quick things. Talk to us. So sorry I came, my other meeting ran late. Um, on the Sustainability Alliance, just to clarify, I know you've already voted and hope you voted, got it all straightened out. But the membership in the Sustainability Alliance is the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council. The person, because the agenda says request that the co-chairs join the Sustainability Alliance. That's not really the way it works. Our council is a member. The council is a member and you appoint one or more representatives who then are authorized, and you can appoint the entire board. We have one. three. We have okay, three. Great. All right, so you're a member as a Van Nuys Neighborhood Council. You have three representatives. That's great. If that email from the president could come in to um, <coughs> ncsa at empowerla.org, that will get to the right person. If you want to copy me, I'll make sure it gets taken care of in time for their Thank next you. meeting which is their next public forum, which will be in March. I don't have, I think it's going to be on March, um, the second Saturday of March. So for the three of you, I know Jason and whomever. The other Jason, two. Mr. Friedman, and Paul Anand. Okay. 
Okay, great. Thank you. Um, tentatively put down that, uh, I think it's March 12th in the afternoon is their next public session. Number two, um, reminder, Valley Alliance Neighborhood Council meets tomorrow night. Um, the general manager of the Department of Transportation, Salida Reynolds, mm -hmm. is the guest speaker. So I know there are transportation issues um, galore in Van Nuys. No. And so I, you know, you're all welcome to attend and listen to what she has to say. I know she has a couple of talking points in the announcement that were sent out, including Vision Zero, which is get down to zero deaths of pedestrians and uh, cyclists and, and transit riders, et cetera. Um, and so, but these are new initiatives that are priorities that the department is doing, and I think it'd be of interest for you to, um, uh, those of you who are interested in, in uh, hearing that. Um, and I had a third item, and I'm forgetting what it was right now, so um, I will sit down. There it is. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Bailey. Thank you. Oh, Valley Alliance. Oh, sorry. The anniversary mixer is in March, so I may oh. not be here for you to remind you to oh. that. Do so we that's, you have a date? Yes, it's the regular second Thursday okay. of the month. It's going to be at CBS Studios. Starts a little bit earlier, like 5.30 okay. for the uh, hors d'oeuvres and, and um, no host bar. But um, we usually have about 250 folks from throughout the valley, from the various neighborhood councils there. We'll be presenting the best of awards, um, which actually, I would take this opportunity, you can self-nominate um, your neighborhood council and I strongly recommend you do that with the in mind your various uh, summits that you had during the past year. I think that would be an excellent nomination. Um, but you have to get some detail, you know, like uh, sure. what they covered and how many attendants you had and publicity and all that sort of thing. Um, and I think the deadline's the 24th to get that nomination in. Um, it should be in the email that you okay. got from from there. So, um, so at the mixer, which you're all and the entire board's invited to, um, they'll be giving out those awards uh, at that time. Jeanette, were you listening? I missed part of it. I'm sorry because one of my uh, all right, let's vote for forget that. Here. All right. Anyway. All right. All the all the uh, the uh, commit all the uh, summits summits. On my mind is gone. All the summits that we had last year, including the uh, the sheriff's uh, debate and everything else, should be listed and sent to Vank directly. Vank at EmpowerLA.org. Yes. Including to nominate us for uh, the best of award. A best of. Vank and uh, who else? No. Vank at Vank, the email address is Vank V A N C at EmpowerLA.org. Is that for the pool council or just individual oh, council? Neighborhood councils. Mm -hmm.